CBSC has declared the day cheat for class 10th and class 12th students yesterday. Your papers are going to commence very soon and practicals obviously are starting from 1st of March to 15th of March. So all the best for your exams. You already know your date sheet. I'm sure you must have noted all your papers, their final dates and have started preparing it. Also note down the gap you have got between the exams. It's going to be very important when you are preparing for your papers. So is my team ready to score 95 plus? I'm sure you are. Together we can and we will. And I'm here to help you out score more than 95% and obviously the target can be 100%. In this stage, I'm taking up the sample question paper of home science. Remember, solving of sample question papers and previous year papers is one of the most important techniques techniques of scoring full marks but in home science as the syllabus is absolutely new you won't find any previous year papers but sample papers are very important i'll try to cover all the sample papers and practice papers which have been put out by cbsc on its website just go over to the website of cbsc or edudel.com and there dot co dot in and there you can find all these papers but i'll be trying and taking up them take them up in my videos also so let's begin with the paper the paper is of three marks i'm sure you know all your papers are of three marks for the first time your board exams are going to be held in two shifts i'm sure you must be knowing it morning and the evening shift home science paper is when is it can you tell me yes it's on 12th 7th of june morning shift and how to use these three hours I've already covered in a video. The link I'll send you here. If you haven't watched them, just go and watch it. These three hours are very important for all the subject. So you have to plan how to write down one markers, two markers and three markers uh, consecutively so that you are not left with any of the questions. Shortage of time, you have to leave the questions. And neither that you finish off your paper in two hours and later realize, oh, ho. Oh, time itna bach gaya hai. maybe i could have attempted a question better so practice sample papers nth number of sample papers kitne bhi attempt kar lo, they are never going to be enough but also remember solve your sample papers with having a watch manage your time these three hours in the paper so that you can attempt all the question and do justice to all of them your maximum marks are 70 why 70 can you tell me because 30 marks you have for practicals and 30 marks practicals are also very important. They are going to start very soon. Remember, dono may you have to score full marks. Maybe I'll also make a video on how to score full marks. Now, general instructions we'll start with. All the questions are compulsory. You don't have any choice in the question. You have to attempt all the questions but please don't get disheartened you have to attempt all the questions but there is a lot of internal choice this year you have 30 percent or one third of internal choice that is out of three questions you will find internal choice in every one question so there are going to be total 36 questions okay now out of these 36 questions you have to attempt all of them and they have been divided into three sections a b and c section section a has question number 1 to 14 and they are these are objective type questions they carry one mark each now these objective type questions could be of many times they could be mcqs that is multiple choice questions this could be fill in the blanks okay now besides these fill in the blanks it could be diagrams it could be picture based questions it could be match the followings true or false essay you can find many types of questions but they will all carry one mark now section b has question number 15 to 21 these are case study based multiple choice question case study based what is a case study you will be given a paragraph which shows a study or a data which has been found out any case study and on the basis of these case studies you will have question number 15 to 21 so how many total seven seven questions now these seven questions would be in 
two case studies. The first case study will have four multiple choice case questions and the second case study will have three multiple choice questions. So in all two case studies, one having four multiple choice question and next three. But both these questions will be of one mark each. So how many marks? Seven marks. Okay. Now these seven marks and these four. Okay. 14 MCQs and seven case study based questions. So total 21 one mark questions. You have to prepare these one markers. You have to be very careful and study very thoroughly because of the type of multiple type of questions in the paper you have to be well prepared practice all the types of questions so that you are not tense or stressed when you look at the paper these one mark questions these are very scoring but at the same time you can leave you can you can lose marks here also and read the mcqs very thoroughly i'll surely make a video on how to attempt the mcqs because you have so many mcqs and either you get the marks or you lose the marks here now section c it has three types of questions that is two mark questions three mark questions sorry four four marks question and five marks question 22 to 27 that is six question of two marks each 28 and 29 two questions of three marks each 30 to 34 four questions of four marks each and five questions three questions of five marks each so if this section carries eight and four twelve and three fifteen questions which are of two three four and five marks remember you will have choices in all these types of questions okay now internal choices are given in some of the questions internal choices are there in 30 percent of the paper also a very important point is support your answers with suitable examples wherever necessary and with examples I'll also include diagrams or pictures uh, for example your fabrics wale hai, designing wale hai, please make diagrams and give examples examples and diagrams help you get more marks because they attract attention let us start with section A C section A first question Oh, oh, very nice. Choice in first question itself. So, up first question, dekhe, I'm sure you'll be relaxed. There are two, two questions you have to attempt any one. Jaha par bhi hai, aur aega, it means there is a choice. Okay. So, there is a choice. Question number two. Question number three. It is a fill in the blank. This is a fill in the blank. And here also you have four choices. Question number then question number four again uh, there is a choice see every fourth question you have a choice or likai and these are both fill in the blanks with multiple choices question number five it is also multiple choice question question number six is also a multiple choice question but see this is match the following another variety of question which you have to match everything then question number seven multiple choice question question number eight this is a fill in the blank again but you have four choices where from where you have to choose any one this is it of the mcqs now question number nine and ten these are fill in the blanks question number nine again it's a choice question number ten it all it is also fill in the blank question number eleven this is a picture based question so are you seeing how many types of questions have been framed so that your uh, comprehension and understanding of the subject can be checked your rote learning or just memorizing is not going to be enough you have to understand what you are reading then you have question number 12 13 and 14 again there is a choice in one mark questions now if you analyze in all you have 14 one markers and in these 14 one markers you have choice in four questions which qu four questions question number one question number four question number nine question number 11 and question number 14 rather five questions you have a choice to so see if there is so much of choice agar aap soch rahe te that i'll be able to score only 80 percent because maybe i don't know what is in the 20 percent of the paper so relax. If you don't have 20% paper by chance, then there is so much of choice 
you just don't have to bother about the paper you ha- you only have to study well that is all you have to do now we come to the second part section b which is case study based question see this is the paragraph which is given and after that you have question number 15 16 17 and 18 this is what i told you first case study will have four questions and the second case study it will have three questions 19 20 and 21 wow you have choice in two immediate questions 20 and 21 relax itni sari choice and remember the examiner wants you to score the marks and not to lose the marks so in case a question is very confusing maybe you will get a choice in that question don't be stressed prepare well so that you don't lose marks anywhere now we come to question number 22 section c two marks question section c you have six questions see 22 23 24 25 26 26 these are all two mark questions and 22 and 24 question it has again an internal choice to yahan par six me se you have choice in six me se you have choice in two questions again every third question carries a choice now we come to three markers two questions are three mark okay question number 28 and question number 29 again you have a choice of one question question number 29 then question number 30 31 32 and 33 four questions of four marks each choice in one question that is 30th question so if you just analyze the paper to three marks ke you had two questions and one choice okay and four marks ke you have four questions again one choice so in all how many questions are there six question and two choices again every third question carries a choice or isi hisab se five marks ke you have three questions 34 35 and 36 as i said out of every three questions choice in one question to so here also you have a choice in question number 35 that is or okay this is the pattern of your paper let us just revise it quickly 21 वन मार्क के क्वेश्चन थे उसके बाद टू मार्क्स के यू हैड सिक्स क्वेश्चन थ्री मार्क्स के यू हैड टू क्वेश्चन फोर मार्क्स के यू हैड फोर क्वेश्चन एंड फाइव मार्क्स यू हैड थ्री क्वेश्चन आउट ऑफ दीज ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन यू हैड चॉइस इन सेवन सेवन क्वेश्चन में यू हैड चॉइस आउट ऑफ दीज सिक्स टू क्वेश्चन में यू हैड चॉइस आउट ऑफ दीज टू क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन चॉइस फोर क्वेश्चन वन क्वेश्चन चॉइस एंड फिफ्थ में थ्री क्वेश्चन में से यू हैव चॉइस इन वन सो प्रिपेयर अकॉर्डिंगली डू अटैम्प्ट द पेपर डू अटैम्प्ट द क्वेश्चन विच यू आर बेस्ट प्रिपेयर मेक यूज ऑफ एग्जाम्पल्स मेक यूज ऑफ डायग्राम्स एंड वन मो थिंग आई वॉन्टेड टू ब्रिंग यूर अटेंशन टू इफ अ क्वेश्चन कैरीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल वन मार्क ओके if it is not an mcq try to give two small points ya fir if it is just one single point explain it in a line similarly if a question carries suppose three marks or four marks then each point will carry either one mark with explanation or half a mark with just the point so if you are not asked how many points you have to give according to the marking scheme decide upon the number of marks you have to give so this was the first part the analysis of the paper just don't listen to the video take your sample paper attempt it please remember until and unless you write it down listening to videos is not going to be enough pick up your paper pick up your pen and attempt nth number of papers writing practice 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 and you achieve your goal that is 100% so all the best for your exams i'm sure together we are going to break the wall break the ceiling and get 100% all the best see you in the next video with section a till then bye bye